Look what I found. Hey. How have I never noticed this before? It was on the ground. Oh, hey, did you look up? morning it's uh i don't know what day it is today's sunday you got in yesterday morning which is good keeping him awake mostly you know what shawarma off the plane we, what all have we done so far uh kept me awake yeah do you remember him yeah you, you you did a memory wipe on me yeah well it's, it works out we uh took him to uh let's say took him to a drawing class my buddy claire yeah if you get a chance she and richard are great it was really really fun uh, went and did that yesterday, had some drinks on the river, you know, tried to keep him awake, and then I went to see Shakespeare, had to leave him behind because he's a little bit too tired. The Shakespeare troupe was brilliant as always. And then this morning he went for a run on the running group. Which great, is great. Fun. And, uh, and now we're going to Tor Jean Saint Peur, uh, the Tower of John the Fearless here in Paris. If you didn't know there was a tower in the middle of Paris, a medieval tower that you can go visit, neither did I. Jess and I found this recently. Unfortunately, she's not joining us this morning, but we're gonna go find out. It's a medieval tower that was uh, owned by the Dukes of Burgundy for a long time, 15th century medieval manor. I don't know a whole lot more than that. It was, I think, founded by, or early on it was owned by Philip the Bold. So there are a lot of really great names in this, no matter what. The tower still remains, even though the rest of the manor uh, has been torn down. Oh, hey, I know you. Welcome back. All right, just a quick, quick little stop there. Ann Dittmeyer having lunch. Say hi to Ann. We are gonna hang a right, I think, ahead and uh, go to what used to be a very central, uh, probably fairly influential manor in Paris. And uh, I think that today's, that'll be part of the vlog and then we're, we'll throw in some other fun stuff that we're doing here this week as we go. I don't know, just have a good time. Are you having a good time? Oh yeah. Oh, he's having a great time. The real question is, will we be able to see this thing from the street? Because I don't think you can. At least I've never noticed it. It's gonna be back in something like this. Yeah, would, you'd think so. I think it's just up here. Oh yeah, so Anne was saying she'd seen something with a park. She she was not as surprised by this as I was. So maybe we go into the park and get in there. I've never been in this park before. There it is. Oh wow, it is just right here. Look at that. I've never noticed this before. Mask on. Even uh, Jean himself has his mask on. So this is a really cool little map. So Ile de la Cité is where the kings lived and Notre Dame is located. Philippe Auguste's wall that was built I think in the 1200s was the first wall around Paris. The Louvre was built to support this part of it and the Bastille was later built to support Charles the Saint's wall on this side. So those are the two fortresses that are the most famous involved. And we are currently in Tour Jean Saint Peur, which was the House of Burgundy built on the first wall and then later uh, overtaken by the second wall, which is built to protect the citizens of Paris as they moved out here. And then from there, we have a tax boundary from the 1700s that was torn down later, and then fortifications against uh, the Prussians in the Franco-Prussian War. And so we are standing in a part of the history of the walls of Paris, and some of the, like, old, the oldest part of the walls of Paris. Very cool. <laughs> see where we're our first stop on our way up the tower. Oh, here we go. This is perfect. We should have. So this is a model of what we're in right now. So you only see that. Oh, this makes sense too. She told us that there was a rampart. So this is part of the wall like we were talking about. And then what they could do is they could actually come out and walk along the rampart to go to other palaces. So it was like the rich royal highway above the plebs below. That's cool. And then this is the other side that we saw from the outside. Gives you a sense of what we're standing in. That's really neat. I love the giant gaping window in the middle. That was gold that I missed. Oh, cool. We're standing in my favorite part. They're nice, they've, they've given us chairs at every level so far. So if you need to, if you need to sit down, what's out here? Filthy windows. I'm gonna walk back down. Oh yeah.
The stairs? Yeah. You're impressed? Yeah. Oh, well, think of the weight that's being supported. Yeah. I mean, to me, that's an engineering feat. Yeah. You're not wrong. I don't, I couldn't, I hadn't thought about it that way, but I literally could not pick up one of these steps <laughs> if it was on the ground. And then they had oh, hey, did you look up? Oh, cool. This is what they're talking about. The It's like a representation of the family tree. Let's look. Oh yeah, these are the narrow stairs she's talking about. This is 600 years old and it's just right here. As soon as she started talking about like the medieval history of this place and how this is the only tower, we should get out of the echo, maybe it's a little less echo in here, but it's darker in here. I don't know what I'm, it's, ooh, I like the sound of that. Doesn't that sound baritone? So <laughs> this tower is the only medieval tower of its kind remaining in Paris because the rest are churches. So this is the only civil tower of its kind that's still standing in the city. It's only a remnant of the original house, but it was kept, she said, because the stairwell was actually useful for a long time for adjoining buildings, so they kept it, thankfully, and now it's uh, preserved by this association, so we can come and visit it. Um, but wow, this is really, really neat. And when you think medieval, you kind of think dark and dingy, but there's this very light. She warned us there was there was a wide one and a narrow one. This is the narrow one. Ooh, hey look, an early ghillie suit. Yeti. Santa Yeti. That is creepy as can be. <laughs> the doll hands aren't helping. But I do like the goatee. So what's the explanation for this? <sighs> that is a great question. I don't think there is an explanation for this. This is an abomination. They're, no, they're dressed up for the Bord des Ardents. So they... They played monkey. So I guess this, they just like, this is literally called the Savage Man and it was a very popular costume during their parties. Really, uh, really kind of happy I didn't get invited to any of those parties. It's interesting too, because this is the symbol of the house. So it's a planer and what was the other? So it's- um, The level. She yeah, the planer and the level, yeah. So, but she was explaining how it's like the carving of wood to like carve out enemies and then smooth out political power behind him. It's a pretty, pretty blunt, direct message in that one. What's in here? Ooh, a little salle de bain. Wash your hands. Oh, this is this is where we can poop. Here's the poopy hole. Look, it's a poopy hole. You're in the poopy hole. <laughs> uh, it's fun to be 12. <laughs> yeah, the wet wall. That's yeah, not a bad wet wall. That's kind of cool too. Look, it's a carved in wood. That's really cool. Not a bad hand tell. Oh, you're right down there. Yeah. Oh, hey, we found His Royal Highness's chambers. The Duke, with his mink, glovey bit. Oh, is there a fireplace behind him? Oh, cool. Well, that isn't that a fireplace? It looks, yeah, it looks like it. And then we have one below too. Yeah. And then this looks like maybe the latrine. Back to the latrine. This is the actual structural wall, and this is a facade. And she explained to us that there are two chimneys, two aeration ducts, and three latrine holes. Something like that. I think that's what it was. Something like that. You know what? It's all good. It's so cool to be up this high. Yeah. So, John with, with someone is without. Oh, without. So fear. Without fear. John without fear. So fearless John, or John the fearless, as we would say, or John the naps in his clothes. Come on, buddy. I guess I nap Maybe in my clothes. Like <laughs> they could be his jammies. They're fancy jammies. Those look like jammies. And there's some original tiles. Those are nice. But this is. Oh, she said that there were going to be. Uh, I guess is that those look thistly to me. But is that are those hops? They might be hops. She said because they're from the north, there are a lot of there's a lot of hops symbolism. Forgot about that. Hadn't seen it yet. We'll find more. Up we go. Up we go. Next level. I think it's getting skinnier. Uh oh. Oh, we're at the roof. Ooh.
I'm not gonna lie, these are the coolest costumes we've seen this whole time. This guy looks like he could mess someone up. So you, would you, how would, would you recommend this? You're enjoying it. I am enjoying it. Now I would, yeah, if, you, if you're interested in history and uh, if you like engineering, to me this is uh, an engineering marvel, the way they did the stairwell, uh, or the stairs, which you said it was the second stair like this in the city? Uh, it was one of the earliest, yeah. One of the earliest in the city. Uh, it's really cool. Yeah. It's pretty, it's very amazing what was done in the medieval times as we tend to think that nothing creative came out of the medieval times, uh, which is not true, obviously, but... Including your favorite, uh, your favorite accessory in the room. <laughs> the uh, pheasant feathers? Yeah. <laughs> Rooster tail? Yeah, looks good. It's a very quick visit. It's only six euros. I mean, they're she was really, really nice to show us around downstairs a little bit and give us some really nice context. She said normally they like to give context and they had a, a piece of paper in English. She said that there was a lot more translated in English, but I'm not seeing a lot of English up here. These sections are what are in English, so that's a good, they're, they're the updated version of this, I think. And it's, you can actually, it's one of four, it says. So you can actually read the rest. And they have everything translated that is on those tarps. Didn't notice that at first but I found it for you. Yeah, walk up the stairs. I was, I will say, I was hoping for more of a view from up here. Yes. But aside from that, it's definitely really neat. I would put this on like the, if you're here for two to three weeks or this is your like second or third visit to Paris list for sure. Yeah, don't, don't trip. Yeah, not in this situation. <laughs> I almost did. <laughs> Ooh, it's much cooler down here. They were so nice. That was really good. And she wanted me to actually double down on saying that they really love sharing with people. So when you come, it's a very impassioned group of people that work here. And she took a lot of time with us. She was very, very nice. Youth of the Middle Ages, what life was like for the youth. She said they're getting translated and uh, into English and then they're getting everything else translated into like 13 languages, including Japanese. That's coming out now apparently. So jump on it. That was good. You had a good time? Two thumbs up. It was great. All right, uh, gotta get this guy a beer. I'm gonna get you a brewski, and then, oh, actually, the brewski that I wanna get you is back this way. How have I never noticed this before? It's so cool. the memo that we were coming over here to talk to the camera. Oh, no I didn't. <laughs> I'm claiming jet lag. Somebody hasn't slept very well for the last few days, so. Not oh, me too, but him way worse. Yeah, happy birthday to me. It was a nice little birthday run, and uh, yeah. Happy birthday to Jay. Happy birthday to Jay. You're gonna have to play the one. Did you, you have, Karn and Kevin sent me one that I'll have to play for you. Oh, yeah. It's really funny. They're very talented singers. I might have to share it with you as well. Happy birthday to you. It's very good. <laughs> We're gonna go for a little bit of a walk this afternoon, a little bit of birthday dinner. There's multiple birthday dinners planned, which is nice. Uh, but of course, with the summer birthday, nobody's around. And for those of you that have been asking, I've gotten some very nice messages, thank you. I think this will come out the day after my birthday. I probably won't put it out today on my birthday. But uh, we'll talk a little bit about some ways that we can celebrate together. Okay, annual tradition, I guess. Uh, but in the meantime, coffee sounds really good. Yeah, it sounds delicious. Should have asked for a tripod. That's what I should have asked for, this little clip. I lost my little tripod. I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. My sister sent croissant money, birthday croissant money. Thanks, Karn. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> I'll stop saying that. That's kind of obnoxious, isn't it? Uh, how's you, how are you doing? Quick uh, quick dad update. Okay, not great, but okay. Tracking. I'm tracking. You need some coffee. Needed that coffee. Yeah. Delicious. We'll be back.
get a little fresh air here in the shade. Oof, breeze. There's a lot of a lot of sun on the bus there. Okay, uh, I got you're in charge. I'm following you. Oh, well, you got the you got the iPhone. Show me how to do this. All right. While he's uh, getting set up here, oh, I got to show you something else as well. The first thing, the first birthday thing, uh, in the spirit of tradition, I guess now from last year, charity first. Uh, I've got a couple friends from Mercy Ships that could use some help. I'm going to put links to them below where you can go support them directly. Kind of like a Patreon, but a tax deductible Patreon where you can go support them monthly if you want or just one off. And uh, yeah, the results instead of YouTube videos is successfully carried out surgeries, which is good. All right, let's go. I did not expect that the fountains would be turned off. That's kind of tragic, especially because they add a lot. Like they're really cooling uh, when they're running. And it's hot out. We got back to the heat. No more, no more late spring for us, apparently. The second thing uh, is kind of like a gift you can get yourself. Uh, I, I designed this, this image uh, based on Sans Sulpice. You've seen that I've come here a lot in the vlog lately, if you've been paying attention. And it is related to Secret Project number two. And the drawing is related to Secret Project number two. It's uh, been on my Instagram. You've seen it around a little bit. And so I made some fun little keepsakes, a mug, a print, and a, uh, a cushion, which we've brought with us to you know, demonstrate. I'll let you get that out. The pillow, of course, will go to Jess because she's been dying to have it ever since she saw it. Uh, and I told her she could have it after I put it in video, so I got to get on top of this. Anyways, they're all geared uh, to have like a $20 uh, cap on top of what they cost. So everything you purchase, that's going to go straight towards Secret Project number two. It's another way of me kind of finding some ways to pull some money in to advance the project and make it look nice and feel good and can't wait to share it with you. Keeping it a secret for now. But uh, if you aren't so sure about the whole secret element, I thought at least you'll end up with a mug or a throw cushion, throw pillow, throw whatever, and a throw print. If you wanted to grab one or all of them, they're all up for grabs. And they've got my little uh, logo on them as well. And uh, yeah, so that's the second thing. If you if you want to grab if you want to grab one of those, that'd be great. Get yourself something in my honor. Put it up in your house, and it'll be great. Very nice. And you can do the Vanna hands over and under. Oh yeah. I think I found you a new career, Doug. It's great. <laughs> This one-of-a-kind handsome pillow could be yours for the low, low price of whatever it costs. I don't remember. It's on the screen now. <laughs> you can even try sitting on it. Soften your bum on the hard stone fountain and then fall in. Look at how comfortable he is. Nice. Good tosses. Good to get some feedback. So interesting. I'll tell you all about it soon. Don't you worry. But if you want to grab yourself some swag, I haven't done any swag in a really long time, and that's one that I've been holding on to for a while, so the links are below for that, of course. And thanks to Sherman Moore, today's patron producer, my birthday patron producer, and my most recent patron. Thanks, man. Glad that you're here. Thanks to all my patrons for being here. And I guess that would be my uh, the third and final if you were going to just jump in, you wanted to pitch in. I don't have like a, a, a group present goal this year or anything like that. I just really appreciate my patrons a lot. They really make a huge difference and are enabling me to put a lot of time, effort, and uh, investment into this project that we're out playing around with right now. And uh, it means a lot. It really has changed everything. I think my dad can attest to that. Supporting Jay on Patreon has been a big deal and a big help. Thank you so much for your support of his work. I appreciate it too. Anyway, uh, we're just having a good time hanging out. There's gonna be some more stuff. I'm gonna put the Marseille video together here soon. No promises that it'll actually come out on Saturday because, you know, I'm just gonna try and slow down and spend time with my dad, but we'll make some videos together. We'll have some fun. We'll share those with you over the coming weeks. Thank you so much for watching, for being patrons, for being viewers, for being subscribers. And also, for those of you that uh, maybe don't have anything in the tank to give to charity, to give to me, whatever, totally fine. I'm gonna leave this mug down at the Peloton, so if you do happen to come through Paris and you wanna grab a cup of coffee, maybe you'll be lucky enough to use one of these mugs for free. Well, or the cost of a coffee, you know. Happy birthday! Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm like a hobbit, I bear gifts. On so my I'm birth. supposed to give this back to you then? No, no, no. No, that's for, that's for, open it. Because you know that Hillary accidentally 
totally broke three months in there. Had no idea, but then you're gonna be pretty thrilled with what you find inside. Because you totally had no idea what was in there. Ooh, what is this? That's you? Yep. But what is that? This is the real question. How good of a tour guide is Emily? Let's see if Charlie oh, gets I it. Know what it is. You what do? is it? Yeah, I think so. What do you think? You're close. The fountain? I don't know that I'm gonna film this entire exchange. No, take a minute. Okay, it's we'll be back. Piece. Yeah! Hey! There it is. Fountain plus the church in the background, right? Yep, you'll be very happy to know you got that in about a minute faster than your fiance. Ah! <laughs> and she didn't get it, Charlie got it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have said some sensible piece, but I was thrown by the, the fountain and I was thinking, well, I can't be because there's no church. The perspective yeah. is what gets you, yeah, but you still got it. Nicely done. Very nice mug. Yeah. I just pick out a dog, like, I'm like, I'm going to come to the yeah. Yeah. No, you just, you knew you were like, getting that. I don't know the owner's name. <laughs> At least this wasn't supposed to be a surprise. Yeah. Same thing. I, I know who's selling it. Yeah, yeah. Really? Other people can buy it, but you're the only one getting it for free. Okay, great. But they can't buy this one, right? <laughs> No, oh, wow. they can't buy that one. Okay. That one's all yours. Quarantine, Thanks, baby. Mate. No problem. I don't know exactly where this is going. COVID, baby. Right now. Oh, yeah, nice. Like peeing outside. Perfect. Oh, I should take this with <laughs> oh yeah, and I would also say that I, I kind of want to take credit for being the original birthday producer. It's true. How do you feel now that you've seen my dad's Vanna Whiting of the products that we were I'm talking not, I'm about? I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy. <laughs>